Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer with BachelorettVegas.com. And I'm standing here today, guys, in front of the Encore. And that behind me is Encore Beach Club. That is the bridge going across there to the parking garage where you can park and walk across the street right in front, right across the street of the bridges there is uh, the uh, Encore Beach entrance. And then behind me here on this grassy area, you can see it's a turf or grass, whatever you want. That's where the guest list lines up. And uh, down here goes up the stairs. And then a bunch of people there on the weekends, it'll be a huge line. So that's a guest list. It's a Friday today. It's beautiful. It's April. And, uh, you know, there's not much of a line, but it's, it's pretty decent inside. There's a lot of girls in there. It's a good party. I had a, uh, a day bed, customer booked a day bed with me. And uh, so this video is going to be all about Encore Beach Club, the 2023 edition, and uh, what we got going on over here as far as bottle service and whatnot goes. And uh, let's talk a little bit about um, you know how it works here. They do have a pretty strict security when you walk in, so make sure you don't bring anything that could be uh, considered illegal, even if it's not illegal. If it appears to, it could be illegal. They're going to take it away or they're going to kick you out, and they're going to do what's called 86 you off the property. So you don't want to get 86. All right, uh, weed is still illegal in the club, so no uh, no weed at the casinos. Okay, there's still operated under federal license and federal is still legal so no weed you can buy weed at the dispensaries just about anywhere around here but uh, you can't bring it into the clubs so uh, they're going to take your vape pens because there could be weed inside and all that stuff so just leave that stuff at home guys you don't want to bring it uh, backpacks they do allow some stuff uh, there are small lockers here uh, you, you're going to want to like you know probably bring just a small bag or a purse probably not nothing big I mean they will allow a backpack here to bring your sunscreen and your maybe a hat or whatever because it is you know scorching hot out here especially in the summer months so you need sunscreen and they had to kind of you know keep your face from getting fried so uh, they will allow that kind of stuff but uh, some of the pools don't really allow backpacks here I've seen them allow you know smaller you know purses and backpacks and whatnot um, that's usually not really an issue now as far as the uh, the tickets and guest list go the, the guest list like I said lines up down here uh, generally they have a even ratio guest list you need to have even ratio to get in for free on like Fridays and Sundays and then Saturdays it's gonna be guys have to pay a reduced and girls get in free that's generally how it works and then they also have uh, tickets uh, they have expedited entry which is gonna be inside and in, in the casino part if you want to get in quickly you can pay a premium for that or you can um, just buy regular tickets and the ticket line is kind of next to the table line out over here um, where the tables go in and that's where the, the table sign up now the table is set up in the front they do have what's called the pen okay that pen area is that um, area right in front and if there's a line for the tables and you want to bypass that you can tip a hundred bucks and you can bypass the line and get into the pen which will get you in quicker now I wouldn't really necessarily recommend that on like a Friday and Sunday because it's usually not busy enough to where you really need to wait that much but the uh, Saturdays can be a little bit hairy especially when get us here or some of the bigger hitters now let's talk about uh, the DJs and whatnot um, you have you know big hitters here like David Guetta that are doing him a lot on Saturdays uh, before he goes to Europe for the summer um, you'll see him here pretty much every Saturday um, you got marshmallow is a big hitter Kygo is a big hitter Diplo is a big hitter um, they also have have Major Laser, which is, you know, Diplo's uh, alter ego. Um, they also have him here sometimes. And they did line up some decent uh, talent um, in the offseason. They brought in Tyga, who used to be over at the Tile Group. He's over here now. I see him coming up here on a Sunday. Um, today they got an NGV, this, you know, smaller middle, middle name, but they got guys like Dom Dalla on the other days, um, A Craze, Do Twins. Um, I saw this other guy named Mochak. I'm not too familiar with him. Uh, but they, they got a pretty good li li lineup. Some of the guys I haven't heard of, some up and coming guys, I'm guessing, that they've uh, kind of recruited and, uh, you know, they're bringing in some new talent, which is kind of nice to see some, you know, other people here besides just the regular hitters the marshmallows of the world if you will so um, so let's talk about the bottle service and uh, how it works over here and the different options that you guys have I'll kind of flash up the, uh, the sections as I talk about them your entry level tables that's going to be um, in front of the uh, restaurant now it's called Casa it used to be called the Andreas so it used to be called Andreas patio now it's called it's the Casa patio the patio tables are going to be your entry level tables uh, generally on any day they're going to be 750 to 1k and then on Saturdays they're going to be a little bit higher depending on the on the artist it could start as high as 2k okay or even 2500 or 3k depending on how big the artist is and how, how the demand is uh, so those are going to be your entry level tables the next level up from that's going to be like your beach couches okay those are going to be spread out throughout the, around the pool deck those are pretty good too uh, um, you know, you can get up to about 10 people in on the patio and the uh, beach couches. Uh, generally, usually I can work lots, up to 10 people. And then the next level above that is going to be like your lily pads. Okay, there's this, there's the lily pads on the right and the left of the DJ. Those are just your standard lily pads. And then they have like, I believe it's eight lily pads in the center that are going to be called your like, you know, center lily pads. Those are going to be kind of fetch a premium, especially on the bigger days. <clears throat> And I think they actually do have a couple of couches now that used to be lily pads, and those are going to be called like your um, dance floor or stage couches right up in front. So you have 
uh, the DJ booth and then to the right and the left of the couches those are considered like the DJ couches and they do have some seating I believe behind the DJ too inside and they kind of leave that mostly for like industry people and girls and whatnot uh, but I think you can actually buy those tables so if you're really interested in the DJ and you really like them I can probably look into getting one of those tables behind the DJ uh, back in like the, uh, the old surrender space it used to be a surrender nightclub there but uh, that's where they put the DJ tables kind of behind them all right so then they have the DJ's tables outside too and the, kind of the dance floor tables if you will on the right and the left those are pretty expensive all right so um, also on the pool deck um, you have the day beds okay the day beds are gonna be huge they're really big good for up to 10 people they're roomy they're in, you know on the right and the left side but, uh, those are actually pretty good I like the day beds here they're really big which is nice you can lay a bunch of people on them and a lot of my customers really like those and then you have the L couches now there's couple L couches on the right and the left, those are going to be a little less, and then there's the center L couches in the middle, those are going to be a little bit more. So a lot of my customers like to be in the center of the action, and those center L couches are pretty good for that. Okay, you also got in front of the L couches in the center, you got four water beds, okay, water water couches are called, <laughs> not water beds, water couches. Those are those fetch a pretty good premium, those are right in the center of the pool, facing the DJ, those are really good. Okay, a lot of people really like those um, water couches. Obviously, there's only four of them, so they go quickly and they're pretty expensive. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And then behind the L couches, there's going to be the gaming area. Okay, they actually have a casino at the Encore Beach Club with uh, craps and blackjack, and I think those are the only games they have back there. But then there's some sections in front of the, uh, the, you know, behind the L couches, essentially in front of the casino part. Those are called the gaming section tables. Okay, there's several front-facing ones, and there's a couple on the right and the left that aren't my favorites. And then you get into the uh, cabanas after that. Now there's the upper cabanas, which are decent. You know, you got a nice view from up there, and uh, they got a smaller little day bed in front of them, are pretty good. And then the, below that, there's the lower cabanas. Those are more, the more popular ones with the bigger day beds, and you get a nice section and a nice area for the day. And uh, so a lot of those are very popular. And then on top of the, uh, you know, um, on, on top of the lower cabanas, there's also the bungalows. There's four bungalows. There's two on. Uh, there's actually eight bungalows. There's four, or there's eight on the top. Those are called the upper bungalows, okay? And then there's the lower bungalows. Uh, there's four of those on the bottom, and those are really expensive. The lower bungalows are some of the more premium tables in all of Las Vegas. They have pools uh, that are shared for the two bungalows on each side. And then the upper ones don't have a pool, but they do have a bathroom inside, which is kind of nice. People really like having their own bathroom and whatnot in their bungalows. So uh, the upper and lower bungalows are obviously pretty expensive, the lower ones being very expensive, okay? And uh, that's about it for the table section. So, um, you know, every everywhere's, you know, every day is a little bit different. Fridays and Sundays, um, a lot of uh, negoti not negotiable prices because they're not selling out. Uh, there's a lot of competition in Vegas on Fridays these days. Um, I've noticed uh, IU Day Club right down the street here. They're booking DJs. Tau Beach is booking DJs now. So, uh, you know, they're kind of following Encore's um, business model, if you will, and bringing in some talent now on Fridays, trying to steal that crowd. So, you know, you know, Fridays are popular at um, Encore Beach, Wet Republic, Tau Beach, AU, and Marquee Day Club. And they're all competing for the same crowd. So, you know, it spreads it a little bit thin. Same thing on Sundays. Okay, you're, you're running in the same kind of competition. Saturdays, everywhere's busy. Um, you know, depending on the big artist here, you know, it's going to be slammed. So, expect to pay a premium. On those days. So if you have any questions about Encore Beach Club for the 2023 edition here, uh, my name is Brian Pfeiffer and I sell us upstairs here, 773-459-8133. Uh, make sure you hit me up. Um, a lot of times I can you know, wheel and deal a little bit on the pricing from what's online. So I have a trade account here and whatnot. So I can kind of talk to you about that on the phone. It's definitely easier to go over case by case when you give me a call so just let me know if you like this content i would appreciate a like on the video and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more and bang the notifications bell to be notified about my next video i'm brian pfeiffer i'm looking forward to working with you out here at uh encore beach club at los in las vegas at the encore we'll talk to you soon bye